Hi, my name's Daniel Wilson and I'm an artist. This video is going to be quite a personal one. As you can probably tell from the title, I've just quit my job to become a full-time artist. It's been an incredible journey so far and I cannot wait to show you what happens next. Let's start at the beginning of my art journey. I didn't know what I wanted to do after school. Being an artist felt unobtainable or not even a real career. I knew I wanted to pursue my passion for art, but I wasn't sure if it could ever be a full-time job. I loved being in school, I loved learning, and I thought, why not go into teaching? So that's what I did. That gave me a job that I enjoyed and the holidays to paint and draw, which was pretty good. That was great for a few years, but it became a constant battle between work responsibilities and my ever-growing desire to create. Deep down, I knew that I needed to take the leap and give my art the attention that it deserved. I absolutely loved teaching. I love standing in front of a classroom. I love sharing knowledge, helping others gain new information and learn. And yeah, teaching is one of my true passions. But for me, it was the right time to take a step back from teaching and try and focus on my art career. So a few months ago, I gathered up the courage and I handed in my resignation letter. It was terrifying and exhilarating. I know it's the right decision for me. Like, I'm actually so excited to start this new stage of my life. Not gonna lie, this has been a long time coming. My dad and I built a small studio space for me in the garden. If you've not seen that video, I've recently done a tour of my art space and all of my studio essentials, so go and check that out. I'll leave a link in the description if you'd like to see it after this video. Having that dedicated space has been an absolute game changer for me. It's allowed me to fully immerse myself in my work and explore my creativity without any distractions. Being able to separate my art from my personal space has helped me really understand and really treat that art as work, as a profession, and not just a hobby. I'm lucky in that I pick up techniques quite quickly. I've learned quite a lot about my preferred medium, which is acrylics, and unfortunately, I've never felt like I had the time to experiment and try new mediums. But now that I've got the time and the freedom, I can explore new techniques, like this shark that I'm painting. This is oils. I've always wanted to give oil paints a proper try, but I've always been worried that as it's a new medium for me, my paintings would just not be as good. However, I've jumped right into my new career picked up the oil paints, and it's just opened up a whole new world of possibilities for my artwork that I cannot wait to explore. I know it's not going to be easy. Being a full-time artist comes with its own set of challenges. Financial stability is a huge concern for me, especially as my fiancé Amber is also a full-time artist. There's also a lot of moments of nearly crippling self-doubts that comes at times of low sales or rejection from galleries or art competitions. Through all of that though, my passion for art is what drives me forward. I've learned to embrace these challenges as opportunities for growth, whether that be putting everything I have into my art or through sharing my art techniques on the Studio Wildlife Patreon channel. 
If you'd like to support me on my journey as a full-time artist and learn loads about the way that I create my art, then consider clicking this link and becoming one of the Studio Wildlife patrons. There are loads of real-time tutorials in acrylics, oils, pastels, charcoals, and there's even a couple of digital tutorials there too. I've just finished the shark painting and it was a big leap out of my comfort zone working with the oils and painting this underwater scene, but I loved every minute of it. I cannot wait to get stuck into more oil paintings and see what else there is to learn. For me, every stroke of the brush, every splash of colour on the canvas reminds me of why I took this leap of faith. Art has the power to evoke emotions and memories, spark conversations, and connect people from all walks of life. And, as a full-time artist, I have the privilege of trying to make that happen every single day. And if you're thinking of taking a similar leap soon or in the future, my advice would be follow your heart and never stop creating. You do still need to earn a living though, so check out my guide here for getting ready to sell your art. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.